you know, just the experience here has been wonderful. And um, in the morning, this morning I woke up early and I was able to make it to the prayer session. Uh, my name is Davis, I'm from Canada, and I'd just like to encourage us all to come to the prayer meetings. Um, I have been so stressed. Yesterday, I, I didn't have my luggage with me from Sabah, and so my church clothes, I only have one pair, and right now it's in the washer, and you know, it's very stressful to wash clothes, to do the morning things, to eat, to come here, but every morning at 7 a.m., there is united prayer. And the, Bible, the spirit of prophecy in Steps to Christ, it says the darkness of the evil one encloses those who neglect to pray. If you want God's blessings, please join us. Because if we don't, Satan will hassle us. He'll encapsule us and make us so busy. So I have a brother here. Uh, his name is Ronald, and he has just an experience to share with us. Thank you, Davis. Good morning, everybody. A father and his son walked into a restaurant. They both ordered food, and they were ready to eat. They looked around, and they decided that they should pray. The father turned over to the son and said, Son, we'll have a silent prayer. The father ended the prayer, and he kept looking at the son, because the son had still his, his hands folded and his eyes closed. For the longest time, the son did not move. After a long time, when the son opened his eyes, the father asked him, I don't get it. What were you praying for so long? The son looked up to the father and said, I don't know. You said it was a silent prayer. I didn't hear nothing. You said it was silent, so I, I, I didn't know what was going on. I felt like I was that father a lot of times in my life. You go into a restaurant, you're in a public place, are you ashamed to take the name of the Lord? You're with your friends, you're talking about school activities, you're talking about what entices you the most about the world. Are you ashamed to take God's name? The prayer room and the prayer experience changed my prayer life completely. I prayed about selfish things in my life, I need food, I need clothing, it was the talk of the day in my prayer. The prayer room and the prayer experience changed my prayer life. I was so excited that I could not contain this experience to myself. I'm part of a ministry team, we were up to the church and I have been working with the church for a couple of months now. I decided to share the same experience with the church members. As I did that, I was asking myself, am I worthy to do this? Am I capable enough uh, to, to carry out this activity with the church? But as I went down on my knees and I began to pray, we carried out this prayer session. It was, it was a united prayer with all the church members. And as I knelt down and I heard people pray, with tears in their eyes, every single person who prayed gave their life up to God. On my knees, I realized that God not only paid me a day's wage, I felt like he paid me my life's wage. God blessed me that day through that prayer experience. I encourage all of you to join us 7 o'clock in the morning for our prayer room experience. And throughout the rest of the day, we have our prayer room going on. You're more than welcome to come and join in the experience of prayer. Every hour, starting from 7 a.m. till 9 p.m., the prayer room will be having sessions. So feel free, experience the power, and God bless us all.